Hi right, folks, we're gonna be having a look at a little dent puller today. Jimmy's mate's car's got a few dents in it and um, although we've got a new wing to pull on it, we're gonna try and pull the door's dents out with uh, a dent puller. Let's have a look at the damage first of all. So this one's been well caved in there, as you can see, it's lost its body line along there. But uh, I think he's got another wing to go on there, but we've got this dent in this uh, door here. There's a bit up there, as you can see. And also there's a big sort of dent around there, sort of thing, it looks like it's had him impact about there. So um, it looks like that dent could pull out, but we need obviously a tool to pull the dent out. And maybe that even crease there should be able to pull out. He's gonna have to spray the whole door. So uh, we're gonna have a go at a new dent puller we've got. And this one we got from Vivor. So uh, let's open the box and have a look what's inside it. Now I did buy one of these for Jimmy before, but as I say, it was the pistol gun version. So uh, that was okay, but it didn't sort of do very well and it was quite expensive at the time. These were a lot cheaper now. So first of all, we've got this um, accessory kit there with different pieces of uh, stuffing with different ends and the different types of uh, attachment for the uh, electrodes. You also get a pulling bar as well, which we'll have a look at a little bit later on. I hope, think we'll probably be using that as well. So that's the uh, access accessories you get with it. You do get an instruction booklet. It's 90E product here. So we'll have a little look at this as well. So let's get it out of the box. First, put it down there. So it looks like all I have to do is attach the handle to it. So these are the two five mil Allen screws that it comes provided with for the handle. Just unscrew them. And it's just a straightforward job of putting them in there and screwing them up, folks. And there's the two, so that's that. So let's have a little look around it, folks. And it looks nice and simple to operate. You've obviously got an on and off switch there. And you've got the different attachments you use for the uh, slide hammers, and that will come up there as a number. Then you select your tool there, and then you turn the power up and down depending on what you want. So to set it up, this is your main gun where your electrode obviously holds into. So this is one of the slide hammers that go into the handle mechanism, which you basically loosen that nut off first of all. That's the clamp. And then that goes in there like that, and then you tighten that nut down to ensure you get a good connection. You do that with a spanner. And then what you'll do, you would, Put that on the bare bodywork, squeeze the trigger, hold it on and then slide back and just pull the dent out like that. So that's a lovely little tool that, and these ends as I said, are interchangeable as well. So you're also given this other slide hammer, which you attach to your hook bar. So once you've attached these multiple spring ones, which I'll show you a little bit further down the line, you can hook these through the little holes there and literally pull, pull your dents out with um, th this slide hammer which isn't directly attached to the uh, the electrode on there so let's get it out the front let's have a little go at it let's get it set up and then uh, I'll come back to you right so we're out of the car now folks we've brought the tool out and we've also got it on a little trolley there which is a lot easier to manage about uh, on a little trolley let's just have a closer look and see what we're up to so obviously before we do anything we've disconnected the main battery off of the car so that's totally disconnected now and we've got it all nicely laid out we've got a nice little working area here so what we're going to try and do first with these as i say it comes with different attachments so we're going to try and use the suction cup first and all that does jimmy will show you there's the adapter in there so we'll just try and pull that big dent out before we actually start taking any paint off. Although we can see an impact point in there. So whether or not we can pull that out or what, I don't know. So we're going to have a little go anyway. Just put it in there, suck it on. Hope it takes, and then just give it a little slide hammer or pull. Look at that. Wow. That's actually pulled that most of that dent out. There's another bit there, look. It might, may or may not, yeah. So we can try, it goes up to the handle, you see, it's got a bit of a crease on it. So we'll have a go anyway. Yeah, that's come out. Just that little, what Jim is gonna try and do is to, um, again, put that suction cap in the middle. And just, see where he's just easing it, and just pull it out, let's pull that bit out. Right, so we're just going to try it a little bit higher up, folks. Just in there, look. Just try and get it in there. And if it won't take, then we're obviously going to have to revert to panel work. 
Yeah, see, because there is that sharp crease in there, folks. He's pulled the dent out now, as you can see, yeah. just with the suction cup. So we've still got that there, and they've got a little bit down there, which he's going to try and pull out. Yeah, but you will find the metal might stretch, you see, and that's why when it gets dented in, yeah. it, it can stretch, and you get that sort of popping in and out effect, which you have to deal with. So, yeah, we're going to need to use the dent puller, especially on that little crease up there as well. So, but we're pleased that we've pulled that out. That's going to have to be grind down, and obviously, I don't know, maybe there, that's a crease line there, isn't there? Yeah, that's where I'll do it, yeah. And, uh, right. yeah, that's probably the main lines there, and also there. And there is a dent there, which he's hopefully going to get out as well. We'll get this ground down, folks, and we'll come back to you. Right, so we've got the door ground down, folks, where we're going to do that. We've also put a little panel there, just ground back, because we're going to paint this whole door anyway. And just make sure that your little ends are actually tightened up there. He's just nipping up that um, the uh, triangle size one, because that's the one we're going to be using on this dent. Now, on the end of your puller, you can also put in different ends as well. So you can actually just slide them in there, and that can be the, um, the other ones, which you would line up. You spot weld them all in a line sort of thing so that you've got your eye holes sticking out like that and you're then able to hook that into your eyes a whole row of them and put that in the uh, slide hammer and then pull back together to get a long crease out but we're not needing that we're only going to go for the individual spot repair on this one so all we're going to do now is literally just power the unit on and the settings here we're going to be using the triangle tip which is that one there if you wanted to change that you get that so it's flashing and then you can move it sideways to number two uh, number three and so on till you find the tip that you actually want to use which is obviously the ones that are in there we're going to be using tip number one which is a triangle so we'll leave it on number one and then you can set the power by that button again and then we're going to say it goes up to h but we're going to go down to just number eight so that's ready to set up now and ready to go what you've also got to do is to attach your electrode onto the vehicle as well and the way you do that is literally just to sort of hold that on there and hold that on the spot like that and then just give it a little quick squirt right and then do that nut up and that nut there is supposed to support it as you can see just like that so now it's just a matter of giving quick little spurts on your tool not too much folks and then just pull out with a slide hammer or you can pull it back manually as well and so far that dent's coming away lovely it's just only giving a slight tackle onto that as you can see folks oh that come out a treat then didn't it little slight twist and off it comes you can see that dent coming out folks you've literally only got to do a really little bit the crease runs down there doesn't it down the middle there i can see that yep you see the line in the crease right look hold on right down that middle there that's it yeah, right there yeah lovely that's enough and a bit up there look, right right in there right in the middle there lovely that's it and that folks ain't too bad and you'll find sometimes you don't need to actually use a slide hammer. You can actually pull back, folks. Stretching us out well, look. Yeah, that was all spongy before. So uh, there's a bit there you need doing, I can yeah. see. But that needs to be... There, yeah. So that's, you're going to have to work on that. But you get the idea, folks. And that's just pulled that out of the treat now. So just a little bit of a fine sanding on that. Maybe, maybe a thin skin of filler. Filler. Then that should be okay. But yeah, this is the end. So you've got to get that on straight. And you just nip that up. And that just holds that in place, just stops that wobbling about a bit. But, but there is attachments you can change for that. You can either have a, a magnet that holds, a, holds it onto the bodywork. But that's worked okay. It's just a matter of if some, this lead moves about, that will snap off. So just be aware of that. And I think you'll agree, for the money, this is a lovely little piece of kit. Well, it saves a new door, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you were buying a new door, that would cost a hell of a lot than what this dent pull has done. And as I say, you can use it over and over again. So a little crease down there, which he's just going to work on. And he's also got that final one up there, which he's going to um, obviously do the same to, folks. Again, keep the same settings. You really don't need a lot of pressure on that trigger, folks. Just like a little burst. That's all you need. Yeah. 
Here we go. Yeah. He's running just along that crease line there. Oh, that come out there, didn't it? See that springiness you got, folks? That's because you've got raised spots around it. See that springiness, folks? Nine there, isn't there? A little crease there. See that? That's it. You just see the dip there, folks. Right there, that's where that dip is there. Look. He's just going to try and get that. See if it takes that spring in us out. That's it, right there. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yep, that took it out, didn't it? Yeah, a couple more, I think it will. Very slight, folks. So you don't need a lot at all. Well, that's pulled a lot of it out, folks. So uh, just a clean down and the thin skim of filler, hopefully, should do that job. But they're not the thickest metals, modern cars, are they? No. Bad, yeah, well, it's a definitely a lot better than what it was. It gives you something to work with now, yeah, and all because we've got this brand new dent puller tool here, folks. Right, yep. <laughs> and that sanding tool we're using, folks, this is a metal sanding disc. It's one of these plastic, uh, well, for bodywork really, it don't dig into the metal, it'll take it's the like paintwork off. Wheel, it? hey? It's like a fibre wheel. Yeah, it's like a fibre wheel, folks. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. It's a lot better, folks. Anyway, that's this tool, folks. That's the uh, Vivo, I think it's a 90E. It's definitely going to be great for our things, what we do. So we'll leave Jimmy to it now. I hope you've enjoyed that. I will leave a link in the description just below this video for the same tool. They say they're a lot cheaper. We used to have the pistol gun one, big heavy transformer weight one before when he had his uh, bodywork unit, Jimmy. But uh, again, that tended to, that, that wasn't, that's very awkward to hold. And also you couldn't use a slide hammer on it. You had to sort of, you had that star piece, what you've got, they're interchangeable, which is very good. As I say, and once the end blunts down on that one, you just spin it round and you've got another two there. So you actually get three and one on that one. And these ones are exactly the same. We used to use these before. You can buy these individually or in packets. And we used to just shape, shape them down, cut up, shape them to a T on a grinder when they used to go blunt. And that's the one where you put either a single hook through like that or that multi-fingered hook, which you line them all up in a row. Or there's also these little ones which you can fit in as well. So. Uh, and all you do is put that in the end of a slide hammer tool and then you just basically push them in there like that. That creates a contact and then you use that on the bodywork as well. And then pull that out of there and it leaves that stuck to your bodywork which you can then attach that hook thing or the multiple hook things. Anyway, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Just a little word tinkering about. We'll let him carry on doing what he's doing there. He's got all that work to finish off. And we'll see you in the next video, folks. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>